slowly but surely spring is working its way to Wisconsin. Warmer temps mean bird, means birds are coming back to the state as well. And Barb Bredner joins us live from For the Birds in De Pere. Hi, Barb. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Great, thanks. Yeah, it's that time of the year. They're coming back. So I'm kind of reminding everybody to get their bird books out and be paying attention to what's out there because you're not really going to be sure what you're seeing because there's new things coming. And, and what are the things that we'll be seeing here in the next week, two, three? Um, well, I think that the, the red-winged blackbirds, for sure, they're usually back yesterday or today. And the reminder that a lot of birds migrate by the, based on the length of daylight rather than people always say, oh, it's getting warmer, the birds are coming back. But they are pretty much attuned to the solar <laughs> solar day and the, as the days get longer they make their migration they move because that way they can coincide with the insects coming out it's a safer way to migrate if you know that on this date this date this date other animals insects and food and worms and all those kind of things are going to be there for them to eat so it's their way of doing it and the red winged blackbirds did come back yesterday here mm -hmm. next week bluebirds should be back all over the area so it, they're coming. It's great. Do we have to do anything differently as far as if we have uh, bird feeders or anything? Um, I would say just the, the real good key thing is to make sure everything's cleaned out and you get any of that wet seed that's down under the feeders. You can use a shop vac and vacuum that up. You want to keep that molded wet seed away from them. And so take out a shop vac, clean up that kind of stuff, maybe rake under your feeders. Make sure they're clean and that's the way to do it. And if you have sightings on birds that are arriving, you can report them on our Facebook page, which is For the Birds De Pere. And I have uh, customers, and we can, we'll be posting up the, the migration arrivals and things. So that'll be a nice way for people to keep track. Yeah, it's, it's a very cool thing to do because you're the expert, and you have access to all that stuff. What about this northern shrike? Oh, it's fascinating. We've been seeing quite a few of those this year. And I, the one that's been here at the store all the time sits in the exact same tree where you see that footage of him sitting in the tree and just surveys everything around. They, they catch insects if there were any, this time of the year, mice, small critters, voles, that kind of thing. And what's interesting, they used to call them the butcher bird mm. because they would kill their prey mm. or take their prey and then skewer it on thorns and, and big spurs and trees and hang it in there as a display to impress their mates. Wow. So, and they kind of cache their food that way too. That's really interesting. interesting. And, so I, yeah, that's normally a Canadian he's, bird. You've been hanging out um, by your place for the last few weeks or what? Yes, actually for the last couple of months. Huh. Yeah, it's fun to watch them. Well, Barb, we haven't even talked about all the stuff you got in the store yet, but we're out of time. Oh. Can we do that next time? Sure, that'd be great. Okay, Barb Rebner, our expert from For the Birds. Thanks, Barb. Thank you.